Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Talking Bullion. Well, I got another package in the mail. This is something I picked up off of Facebook. I think it might be my second purchase off of a Facebook group. So it'll be interesting to open up and see what's in there and see what I got. You know, Facebook groups, at least a couple that I'm a member of, require you to post a picture of the item you're selling along with your name. So I was able to see these and what he was selling. And then after we made the agreement with what, what he had posted, I asked if he had any more that he might have laying around. So he was able to find a few more things to toss in there. So overall, I got this for spot when I bought it. It was just a few cents above spot, I believe. So I got it for a pretty good deal. So why don't we go ahead and take a look. All right, looks like it came packaged up pretty well. I think I'll just uh, cut it open down here. I mean, there really shouldn't be anything in there that I have to worry about cutting. So I'll just get into it here. See how well it's packaged. It looks pretty good to me. No noise. Can't hear any clinking of the coins. So yeah, it's pretty good. Very well. I mean, you want them to package it well so it doesn't get lost or broken. There we go. Got ourselves some dimes. All right. So the initial purchase was a roll of dimes, and I believe it was half Mercury and half Roosevelt's. So it looks like that's what's in here. Again, very nice packaging job like it a lot. Let's open this up. It's got even some uh, tissue stuffed in there so those don't jingle around, which is awesome. See the rosies on top and the mercury on the bottom. So yeah, pretty nice. I huh? love the feel of those things. So we have 50 of those. See the Roosevelt's and the Mercury's in there. Look, look pretty nice. Look pretty, pretty standard for constitutional silver. All right. So 50 dimes, one roll. And then when it came time to pay for it, and I asked him if he had any more, he said he had an additional 11 dimes. So I made him an offer on those, which are actually offered a little bit less than what I was paying for these other dimes. He said, sure, let's do it. So I didn't have to pay anything for additional shipping or anything. Was able to uh, get some additional another dollar ten face thrown in there. So that's pretty cool, huh? Let's see if I can get this open. That should have done the trick. And there we go. Eleven more rosies. I'm not going to keep this bag anyway, so why don't we just cut it open, dump them out, and there we go. Nice, huh? 5, 8, 11. Yep, so we have. So a total of 61 dimes. That would be, what, 36 rosies and 25 mercuries. A nice addition to the collection. Ooh, Constitutional Corner was able to pick up some more dimes. And dimes are my favorite constitutional silver to pick up. I like picking up the dimes because you know why? They're the ultimate fractional silver. You know, these are, uh, they have real silver in them, 90%. It takes 14 of them to make an ounce. And, you know, if you were to buy, you know, one tenth ounce, which is about the closest, and Silver bullion, by fractional silver bullion, you pay a lot of money for premiums when you buy them in one tenth ounces. Whereas these you don't. These are really cool. These are really nice to have. If you ever need fractional silver for any reason, these will be nice. And of course they're dimes and everybody knows what a US dime looks like. Now some people don't like the Roosevelt's. And the reason is that they're still making Roosevelt dimes today, right? 
So you can't really real quickly look at a Roosevelt dime and determine if it's silver or not. You have to look at the date or the side of a coin. Of course, if you look at the side of these dimes, there, there's no copper layer on them. So it's pretty easy to see that they're uh, silver. But some people don't like the uh, Rosies just because of that, because they're afraid that they may be mistaken for a clad coin. I like that. A nice looking rosy. Let's see here on this. Can we see? Sixty-four. Whereas the Mercury's, uh, you know, you can look at a Mercury dime and know for sure that it's a silver dime. So yeah, some Mercury dimes are nice. Love the Mercs, it's just that they tend to be worn more and don't have quite as much silver on them, but um, you can get a premium for them even though they have less silver. So, got a good deal getting these for close to spot when I included, you know, a bunch of Mercuries with it. This one's got some serious toning on it. But that's okay. Alright, so what do you think, huh? Another 61 dimes added to the... Uh, Constitutional Collection, $6.10 face value. And getting belt spot, which is always awesome. One of the biggest reasons why I've been buying Constitutional Silver is because I don't want to pay the uh, premiums on them when I got them for such a great price for so long. So when I can find them for, you know, cheaper, close to spot, probably time to buy. Because again, they're kind of hard to find that low nowadays. Uh, most of the bullion dealers are still still selling them two to three dollars over spot. So finding these uh, for this price was was quite a win. I was pretty happy about it. So yeah, these are going to be nice to add to my uh, constitutional collection. Again, that's been a uh, been a long time coming. I've really not bought much on the constitutional side lately, and so it's really really nice to have something else to put into the collection. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. And always remember, let's keep talking bullion.